Hey everybody, it's Black Friday today. I want to wish you guys all a happy Black Friday. Hope if you guys are in the States, I want to wish you guys happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys had a good uh or having a good weekend. And uh it's time for my weekly recap where I talk about this past week's Rock Band 4 Guitar Hero Live and Amplitude news. And let's start with the Rock Band 4 news. We had a lot of interesting news this week, and let's start with the DLC announcement. A lot of people were really happy with the Van Halen announcement. We knew this was coming, it was just a matter of when, and we got six new songs from Van Halen. We got Ain't Talking About Love, we got And the Cradle Will Rock, Dance the Night Away, Hot for Teacher, Running with the Devil, and Unchained. If you guys wanna see my review of those songs, click the annotation box, I've done a full review of all six songs, so I tell you which songs are good, maybe which songs aren't so good on certain instruments, and you guys can you know, make a decision for yourself on what to purchase. We also got some other news this week. We learned that Harmonix was actually running a Van Halen promo. So they're basically doing a contest where you could, you know, win a number of different prizes. You could win a brand new Xbox One. You could win a Rock Band 4 band bundle. You could win the Van Halen DLC for free, as well as some of Van Halen's remastered albums as well. So I put a link down below if you guys want to go check that out. I'm not too sure if it's still open, but it was open earlier this week. We also learned from Mad Cats that you can now buy the standalone guitars from their website for both the PS4 and the Xbox One. They retail for $99.99, so I've put the link down below to Mad Cats' website if you guys are looking for an additional guitar. We also had the Microsoft Store leak some upcoming Rock Band 4 DLC, so there's five or six songs that were leaked. It turns out these most of these songs, with the exception of the Fall Out Boy song, will be available to those who actually buy Rock Band 4 on Black Friday at GameStop. So the songs are ba Dreams by Beck, First by Cold War Kids, Irresistible by Fall Out Boy, Ex Ambassadors Renegade, Burns, Electric Love, and Cocoon, Catfish, and The Bottleman. So uh, some people are, are basically thinking that all of these songs, with the exception of Fall Out Boy and Cocoon, will show up as DLC next week. We'll have to wait till Monday to confirm that, but if you guys are going to buy Rock Band 4 on Black Friday, you'll be getting all of those songs for free uh, from GameStop, except the Fall Out Boy song. Makes me wonder, maybe the Fall Out Boy song is part of a Fall Out Boy pack that'll be coming out later on. Speaking of Black Friday, um, if you guys want to pick up a new band bundle or get a special edition Rock Band 4 band bundle, Target is actually selling the band bundle for $199.99, so it's 50 bucks off. Plus, those uh, the band bundle will also include a red guitar and red drum kit as well. Uh, those were originally shown when Rock Band 4 was first announced. Uh, Mad Cats was actually planning on releasing a couple different colors of guitars, but then they just decided to just you know go with one color and that was it. So if you guys were disappointed, like maybe a couple other people were, you could probably go pick it up right now. So learn from Harmonix this week that as part of the December 8th patch that's coming up for Rock Band 4, uh, it'll actually include costumes in the Rock Shop that'll be from Fallout 4. So if you guys are a fan of Fallout 4, you can now outfit your characters with the Fallout 4 costumes when the December 8th patch comes out. They've actually released a trailer showing that. Uh, we also learned this week too that um, the exports on disc that a lot of people have been waiting for to bring into Rock Band 4 will be, will be made available probably early 2016 according to Rock Band's Twitter page. Um, the only di exception is Rock Band 3 which will be made available in December. It's funny because I don't think anybody thought that Rock Band 3 would be made available before all the other disc exports. So in regards to Black Friday, uh, Amazon is also selling the game and guitar bundle for 30 bucks off, so you can go buy it there for $99.99. I put the link down below. Let's move on to the Guitar Hero Live news of the week. Turning now to Guitar Hero Live, we had a huge song drop on Guitar Hero TV this week. This was actually the most songs released since the game has actually come out. So we had 34 brand new songs released, uh, six of which are part of a new premium show set that has come, that's come out, and 28 of which just appear, I guess, on the GHTV channels. Uh, so if you guys want to see the whole list, click the description box below. The new premium shows we have this week are called Dance Meets Rock. That one features Zed, uh, The Prodigy, and Knife Party. And then the other pro premium show we have is called On Tour 2015. That one we see Escape the Fate, Black Veil Brides, and Atreus. If you want to see those songs, click the description box below. Also had Activision's Guitar Hero Twitter page tease a new premium show that may come out today. Um, they haven't announced anything yet, but stay tuned guys later today. Maybe we'll see another announcement for an upcoming premium show. That basically gives us 300 songs now on GHTV. Uh, they'd promised to have at least 70 songs released by year's end. So it looks like they've already beaten that number. And that does it for this week's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I also want to let you guys know that we've done a brand new podcast of Living Room Clutter. We have Oscar from Rock Band Day join us. And we had a fun time talking about all things Rock Band 4 and Guitar Hero Live related. Um, so check that out. I put the annotation box on the video. And thanks for watching, guys. And make sure you subscribe for all things Rock Band 4 Guitar Hero Live and Rhythm Gaming related. Take care.